do you think about that movie? Get out. Fantastic movie. Is that a feature debut for Jordan Peele? I think it was. Was it? Yeah, I yeah. think it was his debut. And That's honestly, exciting. part of the reason why I really love the movie is like, if you, even if you go beyond uh, the story, the meaning, the symbolism, etc. There, you can see the work he put in like every scene. You can see a lot of yeah. detail in the background. Uh, something silly, like for example, uh, Rose, I think is her name. Uh, she's driving a Lincoln. I mean, there are a lot that of things good. in there that oh is actually my God, really amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. so kudos. I really hope that if uh, Jordan Peele makes another movie, it will be just as oh, he's, deep he's and too. well thought through as yeah. Get Out. That was he's so he's coming up right now. Like he, man, I'm so impressed by the stuff that he's been doing, like on Big Mouth too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I, would, I mean, relatively small feature from <coughs> Jordan Peele, but I, it just made. I mean, it, as, as as a performance artist, Jordan Peele is just a fantastic, hilarious yep. example of what a comedy actor should be. Yep. But I, mean, I think it's just fantastic to see that you know he's clearly an incredibly thoughtful individual. Well, uh, um, well, um, I mean, tragedy plus time equals comedy, right? So like most comedians i think the funniest comedians are have some of like the most thoughtful well-rounded sort of ideas about these tragic themes i don't know oh no i, I get what you're saying you know, a lot of a lot of very very funny people have had you know uh pretty pretty horrific experiences throughout their life and that you know being a funny person is is it's, it's got to be like a defense mechanism because if you're not going to, if you can't find any joy or laughter, you know, particularly if you are going through a miserable period in your life, you're not going to make it out. Yeah. And I think we can all agree it's it's kind of rough being an African-American. I mean, we, we can agree on that without actually knowing for sure and never, never knowing what that is going to be like. But... Yeah. And I think that they did a really good job trying to portray that in the movie. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the end, just in the end, when I saw those, like, pol police sirens on the car, I'm like, oh, holy shit, is going to get shot. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was yeah. like, that's oh, my first yeah. thought. This is his happy ending. And his happy ending is a jail cell. So. And yeah. I think that's... Because that's, he's a black man at a murder scene. Yeah, I just thought he was going to get shot. And yeah. the whole, all through the movie, I think he did an amazing work at portraying, like, that feeling, it's, because yeah, it's so hard to describe. I know, and I, I'm not going to say I can feel how African Americans feel every day when that happens, but I f certainly didn't feel at ease no, watching the movie something. following the character. Yeah, And sure. I think that was very a very efficient movie in that respect. Yeah, there was, there was just like this constant underlying tension just yeah. throughout the entire film even if it was just in the most you know placid safe environment that um was it chris is the character's name chris, chris? yeah, yeah that chris. chris was in it's it just it was always there and you you just never felt like he was totally safe and i yeah. i, I well, can only that's wonder why, if that's what it feels like that's why people who say like oh they're just words like they don't mean anything and but the context, he says, there's a line in the movie where he says, it's not what he said, it's the how way he, he said, said it. it. Yeah, yeah, it's how yeah. he said it. Mm -hmm. And that that is so important when it comes to, like, I, I, th I think, you know, sort of this race and gender uh, discussion, you know? It's not, it's not just what people say, but how they say it. And when you get, like, a little off thing, like, oh, black is in fashion. And yeah, you get yeah. that over and over and over and over again. So, I mean, in itself, it's like, ugh. <laughs> but when you get it over and over and over and over and over again, and you get that it's meaning, it's meaning behind it, I mean, that's got to be so and grating. It was, it was kind of creepy, and I wonder if that was the, uh, the part of the idea when they were writing the film, but seeing, um, oh, I forgot their names, but the, the uh, helpers at the house, mm -hmm. seeing them, they are young, and they are saying things that an old white person would say and that was hell creepy for me i don't know yeah it was yeah, yeah. what about the running scene oh, that, yeah. was, that, that was that was so yeah. creepy that was really well done but i just i want to cycle back for a minute about those emotions because like when we're talking about him um meeting the parents for the first time and going there she's like oh don't worry my dad would have voted for obama a third time if he could have so i was like oh this family's really open 
and then we get there and it seems like they are and then the mom is you know putting them under but here's the, here's the thing they probably think that they are open-minded because they're putting their bodies into black people's bodies you know, so they're probably like, yeah. we're an equal opportunity body snatcher thing. <laughs> I don't know. Except, I, wait, except that they were all black, weren't they? Uh, I don't, I don't know, know if I would go I that way. Know. I don't know. I mean, I think, <laughs> I, no, I, I think really what they did is they thought like, that, that's, they, that they were playing a role, like, right? Yeah. They just said what they thought somebody who would be open-minded would say. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I wonder if they think that they're open-minded. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, that whole order is very much like anti-African American I'd say yeah overall I mean the thing is like and it it, it it goes they talk about it in, in that little like that video segment about like what the whole project's about and like what the the grandfather is essentially saying like this is the perfect blend what we're doing here because they're strong and we're smart yeah exactly. mentally Basically. all these black people are inferior like whereas in the brain. we have the big important brains yeah. but you know right. our Bloody. bodies That's... you know aren't quite as fast yeah. because I didn't qualify for one race that a black dude won in front of Hitler <laughs> so so to pivot this slightly do you think Rose like really had an attraction to black men or was she just playing a role too because I, I, I thought she, she was, was this innocent thing until we see that shoebox full of pictures. Yeah. Like, what the hell? I've seen this movie twice. And now, I don't there's, know. there's clearly some yeah. sort of fetish going on there. It's either a fetish for, you know, having sex with a black man in a very, very racist family, or it's just the fetish of. Hey, look at the amount of people I conned into giving me that yeah, body. Maybe yeah, it's, it's just like the family business. Like I don't, yeah. I don't know if there's any. Yeah, like, maybe she just takes pride there's in her work. More to it? Yeah, I yeah. don't think that there's any genuine attraction. Yeah, exactly. Maybe fetish, uh, just but no physical. genuine attraction. Like she doesn't care about the human being underneath. Yeah, I mean, she's clearly a sociopath, right? You can see oh, on the yeah. phone when she's talking with uh, Chris's oh, friend, the TSA agent. Amazing like, acting. There, there was a little bit of emotion in the voice, but her face was so stoic, yeah. showing that she was a sociopath. So maybe... I'm really you know, she, can, she, she may feel something, but really, it's opportunity. She goes after yep. black guys because it's opportunity for their family business. That's really all it is, I think. Yeah, she's she's the con artist in the family business, you know, like she she's the accounts man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the she wine and dines and takes him back. <laughs> the transformation though with her character, like we think that she's this innocent girl, she's got the bang, she's playing up the rosy cheeks, and then suddenly we've got these somber images of her kind of in the dark nibbling on cereal. Yeah. You know, with her hair totally different, her that face was is so creepy. Uh, very white. Outfit, was, yeah, like, totally was, different. Yeah, it could have been a different white person. Milk. Yeah, drinking white milk. <laughs> yeah, through a straw. Through a straw. Was, I have to say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with Alison Williams' performance in this. Yeah, I, have, yeah. I have to say. No, I think it was great work all around. Yeah, I mean, directing, no actor yeah. stood out design, well. even the cinematography was really, was actually pretty good. Like, it's not necessarily out of this world, was but it excellent. was perfect for what it was supposed to be. Yeah, Bradley Whitford. Yeah, he crazy. is. He, okay, first of all, he looks way different with with his white hair now. Yeah, um, and the beard. I don't know. And the, yeah, but second, I love that he chose to do this movie because he's always been super, super politically active, um, and he's obviously on the side of you know people should be treated well no matter what color skin you have. What a concept! Yeah, yeah so it's that's, just like really bonkers. cool for somebody who's like politically involved and really wants to be on the side to, to, to be able to play such a bad man in order to like bring this kind of emotion to light. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Makes it the perfect fit. Yeah, I think so. All great performances all around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actors, crew, everything looked really good. Great debut. And there was, so it was creepy. There was some like funny moments, some comedy to it, but can we talk about the nomination for the Golden Globes? Why the heck is it in the comedy? Yeah. Why? Um, uh, I probably because make of the sense. hero of the movie, beautiful. Rod. 
Can yeah, we talk about Rod I mean, being uh, uh, not only incredibly necessary mm-hmm. in order for me to make it through that movie? Yeah. But like the only comedy relief there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's very, yeah. And it was very effective. Just right. It was comedy relief. Just right. It yeah. was like as soon as you're like, oh god, I don't know if I can, if I can keep watching this because it's so tragic, and then just like, woo! But other than that, I, can, I don't know why it's in the comedy. It's not the first because, time. Yeah, it's not the first time they do it, but they s- keep not on doing it. Like, yeah, certainly not and, a musical. And for that 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 type of, of movie that's so like politically charged, yeah, calling it a comedy, it, it feels, it's almost insulting. It, I don't it, know. Is almost it feels insulting, yeah. just it does feel it's, like a bit. I of mean, unless service. there's something glaringly obvious that I'm missing, it yeah. seems insulting. The only other thing that I can think of is that it, it, for some reason, didn't fit in the other categories, and they really, really wanted it to get nominated, so they scooched it into the comedy section. That's the only thing I can think of that's, like, yeah. flattering. Let's yeah. talk about Chris real quick. The well, very quick, then. Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah. yeah. What else has he been in? He's amazing. Black Mirror. Black Mirror. For sure. That's my favorite. Okay. I, that's, as soon as I saw him in Get Out, I was like, oh, it's yeah. that guy. Brown Two Black. I really liked him. Uh, if you haven't seen that episode, Worth watching. Makes you question everything when you watch. You'll your never look at a treadmill. Like a oh no, or even I American Idol. Don't even look at treadmills shows. anyway. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. Things. Okay, okay. I have one more question. Who's gonna go get hypnotized now? Has no. anybody in this I have, car been hypnotized? I have what? been hypnotized. For what? It's so creepy. Okay, so you know when he gets he gets did you hip- get sucked down? No, no, no. <laughs> that <laughs> that part legs. I don't recall anything like that. But they um, don't want you to recall. <laughs> right. But, so you, you're thinking, like, okay, it's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect me. And then you know how, like, he goes down into the pit and then he wakes up in his bed and he's like, did that happen? Yeah. That's what it feels like. I uh, I woke up and I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I think I fell asleep for a minute there. And she's, it was it had been, like, an hour and a half. And she's like, no, you didn't <laughs> fall asleep. And I was like, what do you mean I didn't fall asleep? And she's like, yeah, you were hypnotized. And I was yeah, like, you told me about that time. You drowned your twin sister in the paddling pool. <laughs> So, right. ratings, what would you yeah. guys say? Out of five Bs. Out of five Bs? Yeah. yeah. Give it four and a half bloody Bs. I really love this. So Amanda. I'm, I'm going to also give it four and a half bloody Bs. I'm going to jump on the four Bs and one half blooded B bandwagon there. <laughs> four and a half. I probably always will be the harshest person in that car. He's the Simon. But... Today, I think I'm probably gonna give it a four and a half as well, just Ooh! because unanimous bloody bees. I was, I was almost gonna give five, but then I remembered that, that part Jeremy where the little, uh, just that little candle falling. You know, when uh, they are in the, basically in the oper- operating room or in the OR, and um, oh. the father gets impaled by uh, uh-huh. Chris. Uh, he falls and there's that for Chris, some reason the deer, well, right? same thing. The <laughs> the, yeah. and so uh, there's that candle that falls down and starts the house on fire I thought that was kind of a on little fresh. bit cheap as far as writing is concerned but just that part the rest of the movie is really amazing you know what? I'd buy that I'd buy uh, that yeah that, that so whole bit did seem a little rushed four, four and, and a half, half bees all around yes. yes so that's great guys if you haven't seen it go watch it Go really good, out. really, yeah. Really good chances for the Golden Globes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. Stay I guess. tuned for if our you next. Got, if you got an opinion about why it's going to be a comedy, <laughs> put that in the comments. Yes, please. I need to know. Tell us yeah. why this film is hilarious. Unless you're a racist, in which <laughs> oh. case, please go and fuck yourself. All right, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you next time. Go see you guys. Woo. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>